If machines can listen better than people, what happens when we start preferring the machine? Come on, it's just a gadget. It can't replace real connection. But that's the trick. It doesn't have to. It just has to sound close enough that you stop noticing the difference. So we buy the pendant, we wear the promise and feed it fragments of our day. The more we speak, the more it learns. How your voice shakes when you're tired, how long you pause before saying I'm fine. That data doesn't disappear. It circulates. Brands start whispering your mood back to you. And somewhere, a server learns your heartbreak pattern better than your best friend ever could. But we tell ourselves it's harmless, that technology can solve loneliness. The same system that isolated us now markets the cure, digital companionship. It sells you the feeling of being heard while recording the proof that you were lonely in the first place. That's not healing, that's harvesting. And that's how the comfort we reached for became the cage we live in.